Okay, guys, now I'm going to show you how to put different sections in your book because we don't want page one of the book to start with a number one. We want to have blank pages. We want to have Roman numeral pages and we want to have regular numeral pages. So I want to show you how to do that. It's really simple as long as you know what you're doing. If not, this can cause you a super big, big headache and cost you hours and hours and hours of time and Google searches. Trust me, I know. So here we are, Neck Pain Solutions. This is just going to be our um, title page. Okay, nothing fancy. I put a page right there. We went to our copyright page. Okay, and then we have our dedication to my wife page and kids. Okay, and then we have the table of contents. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, for this book, we're going to leave everything like that. We're not going to put any numbers on any of these pages and I'm going to put in a section break right here. Okay. So we're going to insert, actually, I'm going to go up here, insert break section, break next page. Okay. Make sure you play, click next page. All right. So now there's our introduction. So on the introduction, we want it to be Roman numerals. So now I'm going to take out the page break here. And I'm going to insert a section break on the next page again there. Okay. So now we have section one, which goes to the table of contents. Then we have section two and section three. So now what we're going to do is click on the footer of section two. We're going to insert page numbers. We're going to format that. We're going to do Roman numerals start at one. Um, and click OK. What? All right, I lied. <laughs> See, I told you you're going to be crazy. All right, we're going to click on here. We're going to do page numbers. We're going to do format. We're going to do that. Oh. Guys, see? See what I did? I left out a very crucial step. When you click on the footer, you're going to click on the footer. See this where it says link to previous? Undo that. Okay? So now we're going to start. Let's see. That's page one, two, three, four. This is page five. So now we're good to go. Page number. See what I'm talking about? This can be a pain in the butt. We're going to start at five and click OK. Okay, now we have Roman numeral five. Let's go up here and see if it's anywhere else. So we didn't want, I uh, can't talk. We did not want any page numbers up here. Okay, so you see no page number, no page number, no page number, Roman numeral five, six. I have it on outside and look, we're on page seven. Okay, so now we're gonna go here because we don't want that to be page seven. We want it to be page one. I'm gonna unlink it page numbers, page number. We're going to do outside again. We're going to start at number one. Click OK. OK. So see, now we have page number one, page number two, three, four, five. OK. So we've got that done. I want to talk to you about this. I like to have all my chapters start on the right hand side. So when you're flipping, you see that uh, the book is whatever odd number is going to be on the right hand side. Okay. So if you open it up, if you start it on page one and you start your first chapter on page one, then it's going to be on the right. If you randomly start it on page three, four, five, six, seven, well, if it's not on an even, I mean, an odd number, then it's going to be on the left. So that's something to think about something I didn't know, uh, something that cost me a lot of headaches. So try this out. Um, I don't want to edit it because I want you to see that sometimes this is a pain in the butt, but that's why I want to do the video. So, uh, good luck, guys. Text me or message me if you have any questions whatsoever.